we came to each other with this idea of expanding our relationship and wanting to try new things, but there wasn't, you know, oh, I've been, you know, after lusting after this one person and this is kind of kind of an excuse to go and seek them out. Um, so I'm glad we, neither of us had that um, because I think it would have caused a lot more problems and it would have been harder to kind of navigate with that as the first, you know, first event. Well, there was that comedian. <laughs> he, he wasn't, I mean, if we want to really, <laughs> okay, okay. you know, backtrack, he, he wasn't the first. The writer? <laughs> Before that. There's so many different things that different people bring to the table and um, a lot of people say that, oh, you, you, you're just playing the field. Um, you know, you'll be old and lonely because you, you'll, you, you want too much. You, you have to settle, you have to compromise. And that never felt right to me. I never understood why I'd have to give up some important need or desire of mine just, just because everyone expected me to. I didn't want to possess anyone and I didn't want anyone to have to possess me. And I feel like Angel's so amazing. I want him to share his heart with other people. I want to share my heart with other people. And I think that we can still have our relationship. To me, it's freedom. You know, freedom and still being able to have a foundation of a, uh, of a partner, you know, is wonderful. And so you can have your cake and eat it too, as long as your communication is, is always above board, always honest with your partner, always respecting the connection and friendship that you have. To me, it, it, I wish I'd learned it when I was younger. Because that level of honesty translates into so many other different departments of my life now. Like, wow, I can, I'm not afraid to tell the truth now or be honest. I don't have to keep anything for fear of hurting someone or trying to get over. My major experience with polyamory was, was uh, as, a, as like a day husband to a married couple that had two daughters. And um, that was my first experience with an open relationship and letting go of a lot of traditional um, things, uh, insecurities mostly within myself, uh, and also understanding uh, a different dynamic of feminine sexuality. We've always been told that there's this one way of being with someone, and, and if you detract from it, it's it's not right societally. Um, but you know, if it's right instinctually. The risks of being in a polyamorous relationship, the obvious that most people think of when they think of open relationships is the sexual risks that you take and, you know, STDs, those things, which comes down to communication again. How I would tell Angel about that and really for me it's been, how do I make sure that Angel knows how much I love him no matter what, even though I've, I, there's an, another person in my life who I'm excited about. Compersion means uh, excitement or happiness in the excitement or happiness of someone you care about in a poly context. Compersion is when she tells me that she had a great date and she's all excited. I'm not jealous, I'm happy for her. Compersion is sometimes called the anti-jealousy. I have metamors that she gets along with great. I have metamors that she is dating, so then it becomes a triad. Uh, there's people in my life that she doesn't get along with and that's normal. Like the, Polyamory is not an instant solution for every problem uh, and it's not for everybody. Caleb met a, a woman from the internet and you know everything seemed seemed cool. She was new to poly and you know they, they really hit it off and you know I, I was a little jealous for sure and and I had to reassure myself you know, reminding myself of, of NRE and, and trying to, you know, feel feel happy for, for Caleb. And I remember telling him about my concerns and, you know, just kind of wanting to take a step back maybe and maybe get, try to get to know her more because that would allow me to, to be less jealous. And so Caleb, you know, brought up the idea of having dinner 
uh, you know, the three of us all together. And he told me her response and, and I was so hurt by it because she said that she, it would repulse her to have dinner with the three of us. Yeah, it was unfortunate because I, you want to hope that people will come around and uh, not be repulsed by your relationship with your primary partner, but it doesn't always happen that way. I suppose the difference between polyamory and something like swinging is that polyamory is more about uh, being open to new romantic relationships and emotions, scary, scary emotions. And we're not trying to convert anyone. So no, no, we don't. We, we just want people to respect what we have. <laughs>